A lot of people thought I was just putting my own life on stage. I, at the time, said I wasn't, but there was an element of that. If I was in love with somebody, I'd try and get them involved in my work. What I remember is Marion Lane exactly. saying, there's this boy in ballet class who is amazing. And I remember watching you through the glass. And I thought you hated me. Not at all. No, you looked at me in class and I thought, oh, she's seen my bricks. She oh, no, I'd seen enough to know that you had star quality. No, seriously. We've left Pineapple that day. And you asked me if I was available to work now. Mm. And I said, yes. Went up to Riverside. Yes. And we went to the studio because it was really like getting acquainted. I was really excited because your reputation preceded you. And I remember you had a poster in Pineapple. I thought, how come people aren't responding? You were looking for dancers. Didn't anybody know who this amazing person was? Beautiful. Ducks, beautiful. Ducks, beautiful. Ducks, ducks, ducks. Beautiful, beautiful ducks. I remember I was in New York and I wrote to five or six different friends from very different backgrounds because I wanted to have a democratic dance where everyone made a contribution. But I think with you, me and Gabby, it was quite a diverse group. It was. It was a certain star quality. <laughs> it was. I went on to make the choreography with somebody in mind. So I'd make it with a dancer in mind. So the dancers kind of lived inside my head and I'd make something that was going to bring out the best in them. Remember what we said yesterday? Triplet left, right, left, retire right, parallel, down, right. And these are notes from a dance that I made. Well, that was what's good about you. You went away and you choreographed on your own and then you put it on the dancers. You know exactly what you wanted. You know exactly where people were positioned on the stage. Just, I'm thinking about your enthusiasm and Lee's enthusiasm. A lot of dancers sit around the studio just waiting to be used. Mm. A writer described it as like, you've got the dictionary and you've got to rearrange the words and the words are sitting around all smoking, waiting for you to use them. Like something like you or Lee, who's got enthusiasm and passion, really inspired but me. But it was being inspired. I mean, you inspired us to take us to some other level where we'd never been before. Les, even your, your language, you know, the way you speak fascinated me. Black people weren't allowed in the Royal Ballet when I was a, when I was a student. Black people weren't allowed a job, and it was actually, they, they defended that and said, you can't have a black swan in the middle of a, a bunch of white swans. I had a skinhead haircut, and I got treated differently because I was a skinhead. I didn't have to pay on the tube because people thought I was a skinhead. And you were going to be aggressive. Yeah, it was a different time. So that's because we must. That's my version of Le Nos. That's something that Les would have worn. This is from um, mm, which is at King's Cross. Cosmic Dancer. Lovely Cosmic Dancer. By T-Rex, which became something of a signature piece. Some of the lyrics are, I dance myself out of the womb, I dance myself into the tomb, and it seemed appropriate. Someone said to me, did it take you back? Do you feel nostalgic? And, and I, it didn't have that initial effect on me. To me, it's all like day before yesterday. It feels like a good place to be moving on from. It's interesting to look at what we've done in the past, but I'm kind of excited about the future. I dance myself right out the room. I dance myself right out the room.